Welcome everyone to part four of drawing an animated alien face. In this section we're going to draw the nose and the mouth and um, then animate it. Alright, so let's get started. So at the bottom of your code we want to write a comment that says draws the nose and then um, our nose is going to be two tiny little circles so we'll do, we need a center point for each circle, so we'll do CP1 is equal to point, and then we'll make it at 190 and 245, and then we'll go ahead and create a center point for the second nostril, so center point 2 is equal to point, and then 210 for the X, and 245 for the Y, because we want them at the same height from the top of the screen. So then we'll call the left nostril, we'll just say L nose, or left nose, and then we'll set it equal to circle, and then we'll call CP1, and we'll make the nostril three wide. And then we'll say left nose is equal dot draw, and we'll draw it on our canvas, and left nose set outline and then we'll just go ahead and take our black color and then left nose dot set fill and we'll also use just black so we'll copy and paste that And then we want to do the same thing to the right side, so we're going to go ahead and copy this to save ourselves some typing time. And then we'll change, on our second version, we're going to change left nose to right. So go ahead and do that for each one. And then all we need to do is instead of calling center point one, we want to call center point two. So let's go ahead and run it. And there you can see we've got a little nose for our, our little alien. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to draw the mouth. And so first of all, um, we want to draw a circle and a line that can be used to make the mouth open and close if you want it completely, or you could draw um, two different sized circles to make the mouth look like it's open and closing. So we're just going to do the basic one for, for a line. All right, so let's do for the circle or the open part of the mouth, uh, we need a center point. So let's go ahead and start by putting in a comment. Draws the um, mouth. And then we're going to need our center point. So we'll set C1, CP1 is equal to point and this time we want the point to be at 175 and 260 and then so let's go ahead and we'll say O mouth for open mouth is equal to circle and then we'll call the center point and we'll make it 15 pixels wide, and then we'll do O mouth dot draw on the canvas, which is win, and then O mouth dot set outline, and then we'll copy our black color code.
and then we want to O mouth set width and we'll do five and then we want to go ahead and um, fill it with our lighter color so we'll do O mouth dot set fill and then we'll call the color for the inside of the antenna that light is green so we'll copy and paste that so before we go on let's go ahead and check our open mouth so let's go run and run module we'll save it and it says we have an error Uh, well, let's see, it doesn't seem to think we have an error. So center point, let's look at the code. Uh, so we need, we named our variable wrong. I had CP1 and these two variables didn't match. So let's go ahead and run it again. And there's our open mouth. It's not quite at the position that we want so we can translate it over to the right and then down some and we also might want to make it a little bit bigger so let's make it 295 and we'll make it at 300 and we'll try that there we go and of course the size of the mouth is completely up to you um, So, and maybe we want to center it, so let's do 200. Okay, so now what we need to do is um, we're going to animate the mouth to open and close. So we've got an open mouth, and now we need a closed mouth. And to do a closed mouth, we're just going to do a line. So a line needs to be two points. So we'll do um, P1 is equal to point. And we're going to set the first point to 150 for the X and 260 for the Y. We'll set the second point equal to point 220 for the X and 260 for the Y. And then we'll go ahead and we will call this C mouth and set it equal to line and then we'll call P1 and P2 and then so we'll call C mouth dot draw on our canvas which is win and then we'll do C mouth dot set outline and then we can go ahead and just use our black color and then cmouth dot set width and we'll also set it to five and now what's going to happen here is that this is going to draw both of them on the canvas at the same time so let's take a look and there you've got the open and close so versions of our mouth but we want the line to be at the same position so basically we need to translate the line down on the y-axis so we'll try um, let's look at the y-axis for the um, open mouth which is 300 so let's change these two sixties to 300 and it looks the, the mouth looks a little long to me so we're just going to go from um, 160 to let's do 170 to 230 and let's go ahead and run it again see if it's in the position that we want it yes so there we go it's kind of uh, actually kind of fun to have both of them on there it looks interesting um, so you could even uh, use that kind of looks like a closed mouth 
um, because then the top part of the circle would be the upper lips and the bottom part of the circle would be the lower lips. Mm -hmm. let's, let's run with that and see what we have. Um, so we can, uh, let's color the lips to a different color. So we're going to set the fill and let's say we want the, the lips to be um, more green, so red, green, and blue. So we'll, we'll, let's reduce this even further by, let's say, 50, and we'll say this is uh, 100. And then we'll run the module. So now he's got some kind of greenish lips to make our alien look a little bit different on the lips. And then, so basically what we want to do to make the mouth look like it's open is to get rid of the line on our alien. So what we can do is, is we can do cmouth.undraw. So it'll draw it and then it'll undraw it. Now the problem here is that it's going to do it so quickly that we won't be able to reckon, see the difference. So what we want to do is add a wait command. So we can type in wait and then let's go ahead and wait um, half a second so it's 0.5 before it undraws it. So let's test that. There it goes. So now the question is, is we want the mouth to open and close for us. And so what we could do is we could just um, copy the code over again a couple of times and then we, we'll just add a comment at the top that says this repeated code animates the mouth, the mouth to open and close and what we wanted to do is we wanted to do it a number of times so we'll just copy this and we'll leave some space in between each line because now what we want to do is we also want to add a wait command in between each time it does it so after it undraws it before it redraws it we'll also have it wait a half a second And then our last time, we will take out the undraw part so that our mouth is left open. I've Let's go ahead and run it. Sorry. Let's see. Run module. Click OK. And now you can see it flashing on and off, kind of like open and close. Um, you could also uh, undraw the entire mouth and just have either the circle appearing or the line appearing. And that's it for this tutorial. In the last section we'll show you how to use a loop so that you don't you can reduce the amount of code that's being used in your program.